New York and on the new Hot 97 app. Ebro in the morning on Hot 97. Gladys Knight will sing the national anthem at the Super Bowl in Atlanta, Saturday, February Gladys, 3rd. Gladys, I'm disappointed. Gladys. Here's her quote. She says, I'm proud Trash. to use my voice to unite and represent our country in my hometown of Atlanta. She said, the NFL recently announced their new social justice platform, Inspire Change, and I am honored to be a part of this inaugural year. Oh, so now the NFL's got an Inspire Change platform? Here they come. That's what y'all doing? They had to hit it with that ah! one. <laughs> Yo, Gladys, listen. You are our elder, and we love you. F*** out of here. Not doing it, bro. Y'all being used. Y'all being used. You're being used, and everybody's okay with it. Everybody's okay with it. I don't know if everybody's okay with it. There's people. Well, no, the people that are going to the Super Bowl and watching football and showing up. I don't. Do people get paid to do the national anthem? She I'm doing sure. it for the bag? I would assume so. Because this whole doing it for my city thing, I mean, I'm not going for that either. Well, they doing yeah. it for the money and the luck. I'm not so, going for that either. So, a little bit of uh, Inspire Change initiative. So, the NFL just announced the launch of it. Yes. It said it will center uh, collaborative efforts of players, owners, and the league as a whole to enact positive change in undeserved communities across undeserved. the country. Underserved. Underserved, I'm sorry. Communities across the country. And it's going to focus on education and economic advancement police and community relations and criminal justice reform sounds amazing it does sounds good i wish the guy that started that conversation was still welcome sounds amazing so is the, so then if they're doing that and if that actually turned out to be a real thing and they're spending real money on it and then we fast forward and we see that there's actual change then does it become that the thing that would solve this issue is simply kaepernick getting a job i think so I think that's always been my thing. My thing is the guy that put it on the line, the guy that was, and by the way, once again, he didn't, I don't even think he put anything on the line. Well, he, that's the most frustrating he part. He didn't realize it. When he kneeled, his team that he was on supported him. Yep. He didn't think, I don't think he thought there was a chance that it was, this, this was going to happen. He just didn't. The NFL tried to finish yes. him. Well, let me be more, let me be more specific. Most of the owners tried to finish him. Right. Carolina Panthers are saying that uh, Cam Newton could miss the entire 2019 season and they could need a stopgap quarterback for a year. Not only is that the same team that Eric Reed, Colin's friend, who also has a lawsuit against the league, he plays on the Carolina Panthers. And the Carolina Panthers owner has come for forward and said that he believes the players who kneeled for the things they believe in are great patriots and he supports them. Hmm. So You think there's a chance? I, I, I don't know. I would Let's see how so. it plays out. I, it would be interesting. I can't see why you wouldn't bring... If they need a quarterback and it, they determine Cam's out, why would that not be a team where you bring Kaepernick in to at I least know. see what he has? I don't understand. And the NFL's so dumb. These owners are so dumb. If they want to win their collusion case, you would think they would get together and go, listen, one of you guys with the quarterback opening, bring the guy in for a couple days and let him throw around. Then we'll tell everyone he stinks and we won't put him on the team. At least humor me by lying. They won't even lie. They're just putting it right in your face. We won't even give them an opportunity. That's the crazy part. And that's why I've held the line. I get it. Also, um, R. Kelly's ex-manager is going to surrender to police for uh, death threats to the family. Of, Yo, uh, what is wrong Savage, with these people? Who was part of a, you know, R. Kelly's sex cult. And also, Don Rosso, Kelly's current manager, is currently being under investigation for harassing families also. Wow. Yo, it's incredible the level of stupidity. Incredible. I, I, I have no words. On a more upbeat note, I watched, uh, thanks to Laura's recommendation, I watched the um, what? Fire Festival documentary last night. How was it? I watched the Hulu one. How was it? Fire fraud. <laughs> um, it was pretty good. It was more a story about the main dude who put it together. And his intentions. Billy Farland or whatever? Be Bill, is that what it is? McFarland? Bill McFarland. And this guy who from a very young age was always trying to hustle and come up on a thing and his different plots and schemes and plans. It's interesting. It's really, and how he came up with the idea to do it. And they keep in, <laughs> they keep interrupting this one dude. Shawnee, you love this. The dude from the island yep. who like living on Delroy. They keep coming back to Delroy. Delroy's like, 
I don't know, man. I told him you can't do it in six months, man. There's nothing yeah. here, man. <laughs> and Delroy. Delroy was sitting there the whole time, like, bro, what are you doing? Yeah, but De- Delroy knew what was Delroy happening. Delroy the whole he time was like, nah. was like they're oh, like, they're no, celebrating. No. He's like, we had this whole night. And by the way, <laughs> shout out to Ja Rule. I saw Congratulations. You played yourself. <laughs> Here's why I love Ja. Because Ja's the Ja in the movie is the exact same guy he is if you ever see him out in real life. He's in a good mood at everything. Every event he's toasting. To another night! <laughs> to party like rock stars and effing like porn stars! Yeah! No matter what happens, that's Ja Rule zone. So they go through this whole party, and Delroy's like, the next day I woke up and said to everyone, so now we really need to get to work. And everyone's like, oh, Delroy, chill. What are you so worried about? And then when people start showing up, and they see the only accommodations are FEMA tents. Yeah. <laughs> and there were there were stacks of mattresses just on the ground. Yeah, it's so and, bad. And where all the bars were supposed to be, it would just say like bar, and there would just be boxes of liquor sitting outside. Because they never got the bar. Because <laughs> they didn't get oh, to put them together. God. They ordered at one point two million dollars worth of alcohol. Like, it is so bad. It's such a crazy disaster. Being rich in this country is so crazy because then afterwards they go to interview this dude after the whole thing's happened. After the whole thing failed, he went to, he got arrested, he came out. He's still living in some penthouse in Manhattan. I thought, I thought he was going to jail. Oh, I fell asleep with like 15 God. minutes left, but it was bonkers. Check it out. It's on Hulu. It's pretty interesting. 